Hey, love bugs is rising back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome on board. There goes those lights again. <laughs> and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for taking the time out for yourself, recognizing the blessings that are coming towards your way, even though our daily issues have been kind of, you know, heavy lately knowing there's better days yet to come so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload this next video and if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact and gifts and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like you're uh getting good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow impact are going through a really dark time right now and need confirmation and validation towards their life purpose or you know on their life journey please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit every time i get on a really strong content i notice that the lights start flashing a lot towards you know things so i'm like oh lord it's gonna be a good video too and i've really been putting out some good videos lately um or at least i can say so myself i ain't trying to too long horn, but hey you know but i notice like when i do something it's like the lights start flashing in my videos i'm just like wow it's crazy um but anyways the video that i'm listening to today is beautiful meditation music i love it's called Spiritual Detox, Awakening, Cosmic Healing, Renew Yourself, Meditation, Music, Inner, uh, inner Calm, and Peace. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about uh, let go of fears and take that giant step. Oh, it's Twin Flame 101, Hey Yoga, let go of the fears and take that giant step towards your future. Yeah, we do. It's just like, you know, it is with our, us being human. You know, when we're subject to changing, you know, if you've been a certain way for so long, and like I've said before, you know, but there, I know there's a lot of people that are new coming to my videos. You know, when you feel enough is enough, you know, I need to learn more about myself. You know, if you're an empath, you feel like there's something missing out of your life that you were truly not getting, especially when you go through that awakening. You are in that woke state. So now it's like your your mind, your spirit, your essence is like urging and craving for more. It's got that hungry for, I want to know more. I know there's more out there than I need to know and I need to find it out. And you know, and it can be scary, it can be confusing, it can leave you flabbergasted sometimes. But change is always good in your life, you know. It can be uncomfortable, especially if you don't know what direction it's going to take you. It can give you fears you know, I'm, I'm going through that as well but i'm taking that leap out in faith you know i'm like god you know i've been fighting against the current for so long and when you fight against the current that's trying to flow towards you and they're giving you this wisdom even though it might feel foreign to you of course it's going to be foreign to you because you've been living a certain way for so long you've been in that 3d realm where everything is like uh, materialistic worldly things you know, and then when you see what I'm saying, there's all these daggone lights start flashing. So obviously, I'm, you know, I'm on something right now. So it's just like all these different things are coming up in your life, and they want you to be able to, you know, open your mind up, be open minded towards things. You know, there are certain things I tell people, and it kind of scares them a certain way. You know, I can tell them, hey, you know, you're going through something in your life. Would you allow me to do a protection spell over you? And sometimes that scare people. I'm just like, look, I ain't trying to put no curse on my body. Everything I push out is good intentions. Because when you push out something bad towards somebody, that mess come back in you. I ain't got time for all that. <laughs> so it's just like, I want you can tell from my videos. You can feel that energy that I'm pushing out. You can see it through my videos. There's a lot of time people are like, Rosalind, I see the light flashing in your videos. I got a light over here, but you'll see it flashing in the back of this. But you see it flashing in the front of me. You know, I got this light right here, but you see the energy. Like I said, you see the energy coming from my hands sometimes. And it's like, I push that into my videos. Because I know there's a lot of people that need that reassurance in their life. Like, am I on the right path here? Am I doing the right things for yourself, myself? Am I am, am I engaging enough? There's sometimes you have to be able to 
and not try to control the outcome of everything because that's not going to happen. You know, what is supposed to happen is going to happen. What needs to go is going to go. What needs to separate needs to separate. You know, when you fight against stuff like that, universe will put you in a certain situation. I've said that before. Put you in a certain situation where you, you know, I, I've had it to the point where I, I mean, I've had law enforcement come into my situation where because I was dealing with a narcissistic relationship. I still am. But now it's like, you know what, whatever you do, what you need to do, I'm going to do what I need to do and keep it moving. Now it's just the fact because, I mean, I've seen people go through it and I say, you're going through a karmatic cycle, karmic cycle. And it's like if you you know you if you have law enforcement getting into your business this and that they're gonna feel like you know they're not gonna be there to protect you you know law enforcement it just seems like they protect themselves any daggone way you know there's some good cops out here but then there are certain ones you know things are supposed to happen you might be pissed like why isn't anybody helping me I've had that point you know I told people in my videos I had my family plotting to kill me because it's just the fact is they know my dad left the whole estate to me so they're trying to have plot on my death. You know, and there, I mean, it's just the fact that nobody would be out there to help me, but I already know I'm protected anyway, so this is not about to happen. No matter what you do, no weapon formed against me is going to prosper. It ain't going to do that. So it's just like, when you see the universe got your back, these folks around here ain't going to do nothing. Because <laughs> you be like, why? Well, well, I got this going on and I got that. And, you know, I try to get a restraining order against somebody, you know, especially if you're dealing with one of those, you know, toxic relationships. If you can be able to get out of something, if you're financially able to get out of it, please walk away. <laughs> walk away. When, when you're getting them signs and the red flags, do you need to walk up out of that situation? Please do that. Now, people in their separate, there are certain situations where everything is cut off from you, like financial, you know, where you about able to do it. There's something in this situation that you need to see before they allow you to make that, that certain, you know, step out of it. But if you're seeing this, you know, that it's like taking more joy away from you where you need to be happy. You know, you need to walk up out of it, and you possibly can. You know, I just hate it when I see people that are in the same situation with me, and they choose to stay because they feel like a person's going to change. No, a person's going to change when they want to. <laughs> when they want to. It ain't going to be something about you. Because they feel like a person that loves you, they're not going to put you in situations to where you where you got to feel like you got to second guess every little motive they do. They're not. But it's just like, when I'm in my situation, I know I'm very protected. I'm very loved. It's just like, it ain't around the people that are around me <laughs> at times. You know, there's certain ones that do, and there's certain ones that are trying to plot against me. So it's all right. You know, I can't fear that. You know what I'm saying? Because what I'm going to be protected regardless. You know, things happen, things happen. You know, but it's like, when you have that change, don't, don't, don't try to fight against that. You know, because they're, you're scared or you feel like you're about to be let down. But when you put that energy towards your life, that's what kind of energy you're going to bring in. So you have to be careful with that. It's just like you got to really block that out, not to let that ego tell you, you know what, they ain't got your back. You know, if you take this situation, you know, ego is going to try to take a hold of that because ego don't like change. Ego don't like nothing foreign that you're doing something different in a routine. You know, you're trying to do something healthy, healthy for you. You know, there's times I got to motivate myself to uh, sit up here and exercise. Even though I used to exercise all the time, I was an exercise hero. But it's like I had so much situations that going on in my life that has really worked me out, like, emotionally, mentally, physically, to where I'm tired all the time. And I have to really make myself do something. You know, since I'm not engaging in the certain things that I used to deal with for stress. You know, I used to smoke cigarettes to relieve stress. I used to roll a blunt up, you know, smoke some weed just to relieve stress. Had me a glass of wine since I don't do none of those things anymore. I'm facing everything, you know, head on. And I'm proud of myself for that. I'm so proud of myself. It's like going on almost six months, I think. Yeah, six, seven, six, seven months that I've been doing that for my own. And yes, it's scary because, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling other people's energy, but I had to be able to pray, light candles and pray, to be able to not get emotionally triggered off of other people. You know, there's a lot of times, it's just like, I don't like being around a whole crowd group of people. I don't like that. <laughs> it, it gets very, it gets me very agitated. My, even my daughter's like, Mom, you know, I take my own self to my doctor's appointments. It's not like I like not engage in certain things with my children but they know i'm so prone to stuff i i just i get really antsy like oh i can't be here you know i get really aggravated 
but it's just like I have to be able to deal with change you know you have to be if you know you're heading towards something big and beautiful towards your life there's some things you're not gonna like you're gonna have to do <laughs> so basically do it anyway you know you never know when you sit up here and rely yourself on faith knowing if the universe urges you to go a certain way don't ever fight against the grain that they're sending signs towards you to grow if they're telling you to put something down it's because they wanting you to have room to be able to pick up something good that really needs to be in your life if things have been taken out your life they're about to replace it with better you know that you can't be trying to figure out what they're about to bring into your life because it might be something that you ain't even you know <laughs> you ain't even ready for you know you can't even grasp the fathom what they're about to bless you with but you have to be able to work with what they're telling you to do if they send you those signs to step away from something step away no matter how much it's gonna hurt but it's gonna hurt you more to stay in the situation that you're in if you don't you don't recognize the things that you need to recognize so be able to take that leap of faith knowing that you know the universe has got your back don't be worried about other people around you because if they're for you they're gonna be for you if they're not hey they just not <laughs> But you can't worry about that. You need to do what you know. Universe puts in your life to tell you to do. There's a lot of times I get visions on things, and I have to just really motivate myself to do that. Because there's times where I just want to lay in the bed and just cry. But I can't have that pity party for myself because I know bigger things are coming towards my life, and I have to be preparing myself for that. You know, there's times I have to really motivate myself and say, you know what, you need to be happy. If you want to be able to do the things you got to deal with, you have to be happy and be able to take the bitter with the sweet at times, even though that I've been having more bitter than sweet, you know, be able to bless that because the fact is, you know, if you wouldn't have all these big things coming towards your life that you really don't know about yet, things happen behind the scenes where things are not looking clear to you right now, but that don't mean the universe is not working on things for you. If you do your part, and they see that you're not giving up because you know like I tell people all the time and you should know anyway anything you truly want in life is never gonna be easy you ain't gonna be able to get it like it was anything else that came into your life they gonna you won't have to go through hell high water ups and downs going through some really bad days there's days you're gonna want to give up you can take a break but don't give up on what you truly want don't give up on nothing that you can't go a day without thinking about don't do that You'll be messing your own self up for that. And you can't, can't even say nothing. If You know, my mom always used to say, God rest her soul. There are going to be many people passing you by. And when you stuck on stupid doing the same stuff you need to let go of, don't get mad when everybody start passing you and doing what they need to do and get what they got to get. You could have got yours too, but you're too busy focusing on that one thing. So let that one thing go. If they're telling you to let it go, let it go. <laughs> you don't fear. Don't fear the things that you can't really see. That's what you when you're dealing with faith. That's when faith kicks in. Faith is something you, you just got to know. You know what's happening for you. It wouldn't give you these signs, these synchronicities. You know, there's certain things that comes up towards your way. You're probably watching this video asking yourself, where am I sign? This is the sign right here. <laughs> this is the sign telling you right here. Don't fear change. You know, let go of what they're telling you. Let go of I tell myself that every day. You know, bad things come in my life just to see, you know, you when you heading towards success, you're going to be doubted and tested each and every day. Allow people to doubt, doubt you. And your point on proving them wrong. That if they want to, they're going to be by your side. They're going to be by your side. They're going to support you. They're going to support you. But it's not your, your, your duty to prove them wrong or try to convince them you're right. Just let them be them, be them and you keep on doing what you need to do. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Y'all been making really long videos and I just don't even realize how long they are. But I know it's like if they're only 13, 14 minutes, it tends to take about three or four hours. I don't know what's going on with YouTube when they slow as I don't know what trying to upload a video. It take about 13 minutes. You take about 15 minutes to take about five hours just for it to upload. Anyway, much love. I'm going to give my shout out real quick to Ray, uh, Ray Kuvon, Stacey Fowley, Folly. And Ollie Pete underscore one. I hope I said it right. Much love to you. Many blessings. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Share. Drop me a line to let me know how you feel about this video. And I'll see you on my next one. Peace. Be wild.